Okay guys, so I am here to discuss with the NCRT chapter 14 from ancient NCRT the age of the Moria. So I am just going uh, telling you that how to read the chapter, okay, that what are the important points, what we have to emphasize. The first paragraph you see, the machinations of Chanukya against Sandragupta's enemies are described in detail in the Mudra Rikses, a drama written by Vishakdatta in the 9th century. Several plays have been based on it in modern times. That it seems very uh, easy, okay, but we did every day. Uh, in which way in polity I am describing you how to uh, uh, avoid confusion and how to uh, stress on words in that way here also I am trying to give you some con details that how to avoid confusion and how to read cautiously. It, uh, everyone knows that Visak Dutta is uh, written by uh, Oh, sorry, Modra is, uh, is written by Vishak Dutta. But in exam hall, we might confuse if we don't read carefully. In exam hall, to confuse us, the examiner will ask question. Modra is a drama. Modra is a poem. The thing is that if we don't read carefully, then we, will might, we might puzzle. That them always mind that Modra is a drama. Okay, then another thing is that, number one, who is of the following? Uh, na, po, uh, sorry, uh, na, na, option 1, choose the correct option, option 1, Modraxus describes the internal administrative policy of Mora Empire, number 2, Modraxus describes the machinations of Sanaiko against Sandragupta's enemies. The thing is that if we don't read carefully, then we will miss the answer, uh, miss the right question. Modraxus does not narrate the any internal administrative policy of Mora. It actually narrates how the uh, how it uh, uh, it uh, it says how to prevent enemies. Okay, how to defeat the enemies. It um, the machinations of Chanakya against Sandragupta's enemies are described in detail in Mudraxus. This line might be asked in exam in different language, but mind that it is not only against any internal administrative policy. The key term is machination and enemy and Sanukya. Okay, mind this thing. Then in the second paragraph you see Justin, a Greek writer. It is important in some exams uh, you might be faced some silly questions. For example, Justin, Greek writer, Roman writer, uh, Justin, Greek writer, Roman writer. It is Greek writer. In this way you might find who is of the following is not a Greek writer during the reign of Sandragupta Maurya. Justin, uh, um, Megasthenes, both her, both her Greek writer. That should be very careful. Why Justin? It is a, he is a Greek writer. Okay. Then after it comes, Sandragupta liberated northwestern India from the tre, uh, from the trestle of Seleucus, who ruled over the area west of the Indus. This is not so important. UPC never asks question who uh, who defeated whom. But for your knowledge, mind that be, say, Sandragupta defeated Seleucus. It is also important because Megasthenes was the uh, ambassador of Seleucus, who was sent by Seleucus to Chandragupta Maurya. Okay, that is why from this point of view it is very important. It, it is important generally. Then after then it come that after then come uh, in the same paragraph C, leaving Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and parts of northeastern India, the Maurya rule over the whole of the subcontinent. The leaving Kerala and Tamil Nadu. This is very important because UPSC will ask question here. Who is of the following was not a part of the no uh, Maurya Empire? Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Northwestern India, uh, etc. and etc. My, my, um, uh, be careful that Kerala, living Kerala, Tamil Nadu and parts of Northeastern India means Kerala and Tamil Nadu was not ruled by Mora. Be read be, very carefully. Okay, Kerala and Tamil Nadu was exception. It was not ruled by Mora. That's why if you find option that who is was not ruled by the Mora. Kerala, Tamil Nadu, then it is Kerala and Tamil Nadu and some parts of Northwestern, Northwestern, North, Northeastern, mind that Northwestern, North, Northeastern, some parts of Northwest, Eastern India, Kerala, Tamil Nadu were not ruled by the Maurya. Then again in the same paragraph you see, in the Northwest, they held sway over certain areas which are not included even in the British Empire. Uh, you might find sometimes questions in uh, Chemui that who is of the following glorifies uh, the Moro Empire? Who is of the following glorifies the extension of Moro rule? Okay, option 
more empire more rulers rule the whole india okay M more rulers rule the entire india okay number two more uh, rulers uh, rule the even some northwest uh, northwest part uh, who is actually british also has not been able to rule the option is two which of the following you might find question in exam in this way that which of the following glorifies the uh, at uh, glorifies the um, extensive extensive moral glorifies the moral rule okay which of the following glorifies the moral rule now, option one moral rule and uh, rule the entire india number two moral rule some parts of northwestern india which were even unruled by british now the option is two mind this kerala and tamil nadu were not ruled by moro now again you see the some uh, moro rule some northeastern parts of india who is were even had no bt who is were even uh, outside the rule of british india it uh, signifies the glory to uh, it signifies the extension extension of moro rule okay now again see imperial organization you in case of imperial organization Megasthenes and Arthasastra of Portilla. All these are written during um, Megasthenes and uh, Arthasastra of Portilla. Megasthenes was a Greek ambassador sent by Seleucus to the court of Sandragupta Moro. We all know this thing. But again, the most puzzling uh, sentence is see, he lived in the Moro capital of Pataliputra and wrote an account not only of the administration of the city of Pataliputra but also of the Moro empire as a whole. In exam, you might find question option one Sandragupta, oh sorry, Megasthenes wrote an account of Moro capital only. Megasthenes wrote account of the whole Moro Empire. Which of the following is option is right or wrong? Megasthenes wrote an account only of the Moro capital. It is wrong because not only of the Moro. Yes, he wrote account of the Moro capital also, but the word, the use of the word only make the sentences sentence wrong. He does not use or uh, uh, he did not wrote the account only of the Moro capital, but he wrote account of the whole Moro Empire. Mind these things. Don't be puzzled in exam. Okay. See after that, where where we have to give emphasis? The paragraph C, the account of Megasthenes can be supplemented by the Arthasastra of Kotila. Although the Arthasastra was finally compiled a few centuries after the Moro rule, some of its books contain material that is genuine and gives authentic information about the Moro administration and economy. Then what question might probably arise from this paragraph? The might probably arise is that the Option one is that the Arthasastra was written during the reign of Arthasastra was written during the reign of Moro rule. Arthasastra gives an account about the administration of Moro rule. The which of the option is correct. You see, if you read carefully NCRT, if you are reading NCRT carefully, then you will not miss the option because you see Arthasastra was. Uh, yes, Arthasastra uh, gives an account about the rule of Moro. But the thing is that Arthasastra does not, Arthasastra was not written during the rule of Moro age, okay. It was written more centuries after the rule of Moro age. Mind it, the difference. Read very carefully, Arthasastra was not written during the Moro age, but Arthasastra gives an account about the Moro administration. Then after that you see, the empire was divided into a number of number of provinces, and each province was placed under a prince who was a scion of the royal dynasty. Means the youngest, the youngest of, uh, of the royal family was employed as a uh, as a head of provinces. Then after that, you see, uh, an arrangements were made bo uh, both for rural and urban administration. Then again, uh, you see the where I have put a uh, marker. This committee, there are the administration of Pataliputra, which was the capital of the Moro, was carried on by six committees, each committee consisting of five members, and these committees were entrusted with sanitary care of foreigner, registration of bartender, regulation of weight and measure, and similar other functions. Various types of weight belonging to Moro times have been found in several places in Bihar. Okay, if you might, uh, uh, you might find a question, objective questions in prelims that. 
which of the following was uh, uh, which of the following was not a character of Moro administration number one Moro administration was specialized uh, for the purposes of urban and rural administration the Moro administration was specialized on the basis of the purpose of the on the basis of the purpose do both the whether the options are right or wrong both the options are, are right because you see Moro administration uh, was uh, specialized on the basis of rural and urban administration the works are divided into rural and urban okay the, so the option one is also right and uh, second the option two says that the Moro administration was based on the basis of the purposes it is also right because you see there are diff six committee and each six committee has a different purposes okay has to perform different tasks someone has to perform the sanitary work some uh, any one of the committee has to perform the care of foreigner that is means the, there was a specialized task for each committee means there was a specialization on the basis of the purpose which committee what to perform that's why both the par uh, options are right and again you might find question in another way uh, which of the following you have found that there are six committee okay and the NCRT mentions the different committees like sanitation care of foreigner registration of birth day etc and etc you might question from these sentences okay that who is of the following uh, was uh, not a uh, who is of the following activity was not related uh, not uh, was not related or not come under the moral administration sanitation registration of foreigner de, uh, registration of birth and uh, date care of foreigner regulation of weight and measure and uh, other functions you might find question what might uh, what pro probable question might arise from here that who is of the following who is of the following was not related anywhere related to moral administration or who is of the following were not included under moral administration sanitation you might not f uh, find question directly that who is of the following was not a committee under more administration you might find question in indirect way who is of the following was not anywhere related to it uh, uh, for more administration okay in this way you might find questions from here again you see here you might find another question that <coughs> who is of the following uh, did not contribute to the increasing income of the more empire or who is of the following did not anyway contribute to the uh, urbanization of more rule for example you see option one much cultivation option two irrigation tax option three emergency crop hoarding option four toll tax on selling commodities option 5 hand come, handsome income from mining you see all these actually all these five options contributed to the increasing income to the more empire or all these five uh, contributed all these five options contributed to the urbanization of the more empire because they actually increased the income of more empire and in this way they uh, more empire became very powerful they retained large army and all these factors helped to the increasing in income of more empire or all these factors helped to the urbanization of the more empire and you will find these options in this paragraph the state brought new land under cultivation with the help of cultivators and shudra laborers. The virgin land which was open to cultivation yielded handsome income to the state in the form of revenue collected from the newly settled peasants. That means Mora Empire actually gave importance much on cultivation so that they can increase their income. New land were brought under cultivation. Then after that you see. Uh, <coughs> In addition, uh, in addition to this, in the times of emergency, peasants were compelled to raise more crops. That means emergency crop hoarding. There is a provision of emergency crop hoarding also uh, that contributed to the, uh, uh, that was prevalent in the more empire. Tolls were also levied on commodities brought to down for sale means toll tax was also prevalent. They were collected at the gate. After that, they said and moreover, the state enjoyed a monopoly in mining sale of liquor, manufacture of arms, etc. That means uh, 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 commerce uh, or trade in mining, liquor also contributed to the increasing income of more empire. That is why what 
we can infer from this paragraph this paragraph actually gives us uh, gives us some information regarding the income how the the uh, more empire actually manage their income they manage income from different sources much cultivation much revenue irrigation tax emergency crop hoarding toll tax on selling commodity handsome income from mining again come to the paragraph Ashokan inscription here you see where I have marked the Ashokan inscriptions are found in India Nepal Pakistan Afghanistan you will find question in the exam in which of the places Ashokan inscriptions are not found India Nepal Pakistan Afghanistan mind that all the four places in all these four places Ashokan inscriptions are generally found then after that you see they were generally placed on ancient highway composed in practice they were written in Brahmi script in the greater part of the subcontinent but in this northwestern part they appear in armoric language and chorestry script uh, you read this paragraph but here the probable question that might arise from this paragraph is that you might be uh, uh, you might ask to match uh, to match the car uh, to uh, to match the following options choose the correct matches okay it might be given on the basis of uh, uh, script and language and it might be uh, given on the basis of place and script okay for example, you might be given Brahmi script, Prakrit. That means the script of Brahmi was on uh, Prakrit language. In that way, you might be given Khorosthi script and Armoric language. It uh, means Khorosthi script was written in Armoric language. In this way, you might find the matching uh, basis on the script and language. Okay. Uh, while read, might that it uh, remember that Khor Brahmi script was on Prakrit language and Khorosthi script one was on Armoric language. Don't confuse Brahmi on Brahmi on Prakrit language and Khorosthi on Armoric language. In that way, you might find matching in another way, the, uh, uh, depending upon the places. Okay, uh, in which places, which scripture is generally found, or in which places, which scripture is generally used. You see, in Afghanistan, Armenic and Greek uh, script was found. Northwestern India, Armenic language and Khorosthi means Afghanistan des Armenic. Northwestern in uh, 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 Northwestern India, sorry, Afghanistan. Uh, Armoric and Greek. Okay, uh, Northwestern India, Armoric language and Khorosthi script, and in Afghanistan, both Armoric and Greek. What we have, uh, what, uh, how, uh, what is the importance of this paragraph? The importance of this paragraph is that first we might uh, uh, we might be asked question who is of the, in who is of the following places Ashokan inscriptions are not found India Nepal Pakistan and Afghanistan in all these four places that are generally we have seen Ashokan inscription okay then after that we might find some matching okay depending upon the script and language and depending upon the uh, places and script for example Brahmi script Prakit Khorosthi script and Armoric language then after that we might ask questions on the basis of place and uh, script northwestern uh, uh, ba northwestern india mind that northwestern india armoric language and Khorosthi script and afghanistan greek and armoric uh, greek and armoric language okay mind this thing Again you see here within the empire he appointed a class of officers known as the Razuka who were vested with the authority of not only rewarding people but also punishing them wherever necessary. It is Razuka. Don't confuse the terms Razuka and Dhamma Mahamatra. Don't mix uh, both the terms. Okay, The works of both are different. Okay, What is the work of uh, Razuka? Razu the, uh, Razuka was entrusted with the duty that whether the, uh, whether the order of king was righteous or not oh, sorry whether the uh, uh, right whether the order of king whether the paternal kingship as propounded by the Asuka was observed by the people or not whether the people are following the order of the king or not it was the duty of the uh, Razuka. He says that uh, he actually rewards who were ob uh, uh, who were um, uh, observing the uh, uh, king uh, king's order, and he also uh, he was also provided with the duty to punish those who were not obey to the king. Okay, Razuka was one entrusted with the duty of the uh, duty to see whether the people are observing the rules of king or not. Okay, he was not sent to propagate dharma. Mind, mind this don't confuse Razuka was not a Razuka was not appointed by the Asuka to propagate Dhamma 
Okay, instead Razuka was appointed by the Asuka to see whether the Dhamma, the uh, motto of Asuka was uh, observed by the uh, by his um, subjects or not. It was the duty of the Razuka. Then after that you see the Kandahar inscription speaks of the success of his policy with hunters and fishermen who gave up killing animals and possibly took a settled agricultural life. Uh, you might find question in exam that who is of the following inscription che mentions about the success of Asuka. It was Kandahar inscription. Mind this thing. Then after again come, according to the tradition, the third Buddhist council Sanghitti was held by the Asuka and missionaries were sent not only to South India but also to Sri Lanka, Burma and other countries to convert the people there. Sometimes you might find silly questions here. Okay, uh, that uh, to who is of the following country were, uh, b um, to who is of the following uh, uh, countries were? outside the uh, outside the um, uh, asukan missionary means uh, um, uh, to who is of the following uh, countries missionary buddhist missionaries were not sent by asuka you might find sri lanka burma south india etc mind that sri lanka south india burma to all these countries actually buddhist missionaries were sent by asuka for the propagation of buddhist religion after that, Brahmi inscriptions of the second and first century BC have been found in Sri Lanka. Just remind them. After that, you see, Asuka set a very high ideal for himself, and this was the ideal of paternal kingship. His rep he repeatedly asked his officials to tell the subjects that the king looked upon them as his children. This thing is very minded. What is the paternal kingship? The paternal kingship was not a uh, very different ideology. Paternal kingship, kingship was what the, it, its purpose was to preserve the social order on the existing morality or on the existing ideology. Means generally uh, younger has to give, um, younger has to show respect or younger has to show love to the elders. That means in that way king was the father and subjects are his children. Okay, if everyone, if younger shows respect to the elders, Elders, then there will be a uh, that means what younger shows respect and love to the elder means subject shows uh, uh, respect and love to the king in this way throughout throughout the paternal kingship actually Asuka tried to maintain the existing social order on the basis of Dhamma his main uh, his idea was not to propagate a new ideology his idea was paternal kingship paternal kingship means uh, existing on the basis of paternal relationship that means we respect our elders we respect our fathers in that way subjects have to be have to respect show respect to their king it is the motto and in this way if everyone respect if younger shows respect and love to the elders if subjects show love and respect to the elder then there will be peace and harmony in the society it was the motto of paternal kingship mind this then after that you see as essence of the king the officials are also asked, asked to ke take care of the people asuka appointed dhamma mahamatta or propagating dhar, um, for propagating dhamma among various social groups mind this now you came this is dhamma mahamatta who was appointed by asuka to propagate dhamma but not razuka Again, see, he also appointed Razuka for the administration of justice in his empire. Now, what was the uh, work of the Razuka? The work of the Razuka was to administration of justice. You might find question in the exam for Pajuling. Dhamma Mahamatta was appointed for the administration of justice. Razuka was appointed for the uh, propagation of Dhamma. Both were wrong. Then after this, see, he disapproved of rituals, especially those observed by women. He forbade killing certain birds and animals and completely prohibited the slaughter of animals in the capital. He in, uh, interdicted gay social uh, functions in which people indulge in um, revelries. Mind is, uh, you might find questions that which of the following was not a step taken by Asuka. So what, are the, uh, what did he do? What steps he, has, uh, he had taken? Try to remember these things or trying to try to point out these things then after that you see it's uh of the purpose of Asuka's Dhamma was to preserve the social order. It ordained that people should obey their parents, pay respect to the Brahmins and Buddhist monks, and show mercy to slaves and servants. These instructions can be found in both Buddhist and Brahmanical faith. You might find question, who is of the following is not a characteristics of Asuka and Dhamma? Or who is of the following is not a characteristics of paternal kingship by Asuka? So, uh, try to remember these things. Try to, uh, uh, try to catch wha uh, what is pater paternal kingship. 
objective. What was its purpose? How it has been able to preserve social order? These are important things. Then again you see, Asuka taught people to live and the life. He uh, emphasized compassion towards animals and proper behavior towards relatives. His teachings were meant to strengthen the institution of family and existing social classes. It demand this thing, okay, it, uh, you will give a question, which of the following was not a characteristic of Asukan Dhamma? Wh which of the following is not a characteristic of Asuka, Asukan teaching? So, uh, point out these things. He held that uh, he never said that they would attain Nirvana, which was the goal of Buddhist, uh, Buddhist teachings. The question arises here because you might find question Asuka emphasized on attaining Nirvana. Asuka uh, emphasized on attaining Nirvana. Asuka uh, uh, emphasized on attaining Nirvana. Uh, the teachings of Asuka were uh, the teachings of Asuka were to attain Nirvana. The, but um, the thing is that Asuka never mentions anywhere about Nirvana. Though Asuka was a follower of uh, uh, Buddhism, okay, though he sent missionaries for propagation of Buddhism outside India, but he never uh, emphasized on attaining Nirvana. You might find options for puzzling your mind. First, you will find that Asuka was a staunch follower of Buddhism and Asuka gave emphasis on Nirvana. After reading the first sentence, you think that Asuka, if Asuka was a follower of Buddhism, then he might, um, uh, he must have to emphasize on Nirvana. In this way, you, you, uh, there will be a psychological game in our mind and you will put the uh, wrong option. Okay, but yes, Asuka was a follower of, staunch follower of Buddhism. Okay, uh, uh, but he did not give emphasis on Nirvana.